Nintendo, man, come on, stop playing games. You causing issues, man. You causing issues and tissues, man. You making people tight. You getting you gonna bring some tears in people's eyes. Come on, Wes, you gotta do this. What's going on, everyone? It's your boy Wes. Back up to another video. Today we're going to be checking out a little bit what's going on with the Kawabunga collection. I've been hearing people say that this collection is kind of expensive. So with that being said, let's get it cracking. Let's let's check this out. Let's see what people are talking about. So let's look at this. It says, "Well, all right, the Kawabunga collection gets an expensive limited edition." I don't know, it better be some crazy stuff in here. But anyway, let's continue reading. Get rid of these ads. Okay. Yeah, there's certainly been a Kawabunga cool week, Turtles fans. The highly anticipated Turtles Shredders Revenge finally got a re release window yesterday, and pre orders have opened physical limited edition of the also anticipated uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Kawabunga Bunga Collection, the limited edition of the 13 game collection. Will come with some attractive physical items, but gamers may balk at the <laughs> at how much the whole thing costs. Let's see, we're gonna get to the price soon. We're gonna get to the price very soon. It says TW Kalabunga collection comes from Digital Eclipse and Konami. It uh it will collect a whopping 13 8 bit and 16 bit turtles games. Well, that's that's not bad. 13? Let's let's give it a clap up, man. You get 13 games in this. You get 13 games. You get 13 games. Let's see what games they give you. They better give me the games that I like. Don't give me no whack turtle games, guys. Give me the ones that's gonna prep me. Give me the ones that's gonna prep me for. Shredder's Revenge. That way I could just transition easy. I'd be like, oh, okay, this is an Easter egg from this game, that game. Okay, let's see the games. It says Ninja Turtles games, including the following co-op classics. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Arcade. Okay, clap that up. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles in Time Arcade? You're smart. The Turtles in Time and Arcade is the best one. Not the Super Nintendo one. Turtles in Time from the Arcade. That's smart. Okay, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. NES. Cool. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, The Manhattan Project. Let's clap that. That's one of my favorite turtles on the NES. My favorite turtles. They are doing good. You're doing good right now. You're doing good. Okay. It says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles of Time, Turtles 4, NES. Yo, come on, y'all give me that. Why you You're wasting. You're wasting space for another game. Why? If you already got. Right? If you already have. Or rather, already given, right? The Turtles in Time in an arcade. Nobody wants to play the Super NES one, even though it's slightly different. Like the re arrangement of bosses and stuff like that. Turtles in Time for the arcade is way better. Whatever. So that's, and then it says the arcade, the arcade and the Genesis games will have online co-op. Good. I was about to say, you better give me online co-op or I ain't buy, I ain't, I'm not even going to think about buying this. Let's go. Okay. It says the arcade game and the Genesis games will have online co-op and all titles will feature wide screen, hold on, wide screen borders and save stage rewinding and more. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I, I, the only thing I'm kind of sad about is that. Why y'all just can't give all the games co-op? It says the arcade and Genesis games. Hold on, let's rewind that. Let's rewind that. I got a little too hyped without digesting what was going on. It says the arcade and Genesis games will have online co-op. Why just the arcade and Genesis games? Why not the... <laughs> what? Any of these games aren't as powerful as arcade. Uh, you're losing me here. That would have been hype to play Turtles 2 and Turtles 3 Manhattan Project for the NES co-op online. You're losing me here. I don't... Explain to me. Like, all, anybody who's watching this or anybody who's going to watch this that's into coding, who knows about all of this a little bit more than me, 
Why why do you guys think they, they're not doing uh NES version of Turtles and what else? SNES. Well Oh alright, it just dawned on me. It just dawned on me the reason why they're probably not doing that. The only explanation for this is they probably not doing it because Nintendo they probably this it's probably Nintendo, man. It's probably Nintendo. Nintendo, man, come on, stop playing games. You causing issues, man. You causing issues and tissues, man. You making people tight. You getting you gonna bring some tears in people's eyes. But anyway, that's part of the reason why. And now I don't think about it because Nintendo, you know, they got their online shop and they have their games. That's made on their uh, platform. That's probably exclusive to their platform. That's the prior why. And it's on a Switch, I think. I think they got Nintendo uh, Turtles games on a Switch already. I think. Or it's coming soon. So this is the indicator, everybody. That Turtles Online for the NES and the SNES is probably coming soon. If, it, if it's not, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. If it's not already on the Nintendo Switch. That's kind of lame, though. Why everybody just can't share? Anyway, we're going to keep reading. It says in the titles, okay, we're going to say the arcade and the Genesis games will have online co-op and all the titles will feature widescreen borders, save states, rewinding, and more. Okay, let's look at the, let's see what you get for the limited edition of the Cowabunga Collection. It says the limited edition TMNT, the Cowabunga Collection contains the following physical copy of the game with original box design by Kevin Eastman, um, Eastman. Okay, it don't look too bad. This stuff ain't too bad, right? That's dope. Uh, cloth poster featuring Kevin Eastman's Eastman's uh adaptation of Team Teenage Mutant Turtles Turtles in Time. So I think this is on the right hand side. That little poster that's, that the book is on. Okay, uh, you get these things. Hmm. Enamel pin set of five classic designs. The techno drone. Hmm. I don't know. Set of twelve translucent comic style character trading cards based off of full color art book with a hundred and eighty pages featuring a chapter dedicated to each of the. Oh, okay. So it says a hundred and eighty pages featuring. A chapter dedicated to each of the 13 games. That's not bad. That's not bad. It says, okay. It says the Kevin East uh, Eastman's artwork is always welcome. And the book certainly sounds rad. However, online reactions to the limited edition include widespread criticism of the price value to ratio of the... Uh, $150 limited edition. We'll see how things shake up. I mean shake out when a game hits stores. The Calamonga collection will launch both physical and digital copies on Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch sometime this year. The regular edition is set to 40. The limited edition of any of the three platforms can be pre-ordered. For four, $149.99 at Best Buy, Target, Amazon also has a listing but isn't accepting pre-orders at the time. So let's see if people said it. Alright, so no comments yet. Hmm. Let me think about this. Let me look at this. The thing, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it, right? So it doesn't say what's in the collection. I mean, and here, let's, let's count it up. It says 13 8-bit. 16. Oh, it says including including the following co-op classic. Okay, so he didn't he didn't say exactly what it was. Okay, let, let's I want to see what the Cowabunga collection has. Let's see. Let, let's check it out, people. Let's see what the Cowabunga collection. All right. Let's see what this have in here. Okay, we got the game list right here. So here's the list of games. Here's the list of games. Is that 13? It looks like 13. Okay. We got the TMNT Arcade. The first one for the arcade. We got TMNT Turtles in Time. No, sorry. I'll take that back. We got T Teenage Mutant Turtles for the arcade. We got Teenage Mutant Turtles, Turtles in Time for the arcade. We got 
Turtles won for the NES. Good luck with that, guys. We got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game, NES. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, the Manhattan Project. Uh, TMNT Turtles uh, tournament, the tournament fighters for the NES. Tournament fighters for SNES. Tournament fighters for the Sega uh, Mega Drive. Turtles in Time for the NES. Hyperstone Heights for the Mega Drive. Game Boy. So they got all the Game Boy games. Are, are we missing any other turtle games you guys would like to see? They're missing one other game. They should have made it an even 14. They're missing the... What is it called? They're missing the one for Game Boy Advance. There's a Turtles game for Game Boy Advance. Hold on. Yeah. They're missing the one for Game Boy Advance. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let's see the gameplay for that. Yeah, they're missing this one. Yeah, so they're missing the one, the Game Boy Advance one. They should have made it eight, even 15. I mean, 14 games. But let's price value this. Let's see if we get in our money's worth. Because, I, I, you know, I want to play a little bit of devil, devil's advocate in this situation because I get it. These are old-ass games, so people don't want to be spending $149, $150 on all these games plus the artwork, right? So I'm going to, I want to bring it into everyone's perspective, uh, just how things work. So let's, let's see how much, let's see how much each game costs. So I'm going to copy and paste, right? Arcade. First off. You can't get the arcade, right? Let's price. Let's just, for example, where, where on earth are you gonna get the arcade version of Turtles, besides buying buying an arcade cabinet, right? Let's just say, just being nice, it costs like two hundred dollars to get the arcade cabinet, two to four hundred dollars arcade cabinet. So already you you get an arcade version of the game, and for what I gather, right? Did, didn't they say? The arcade version and the Sega versions are going to be played online, so that's pretty dope. So that's a good part. That's a that's already a, a a steal. So you get the Turtles Arcade and you get Turtles in Time Arcade. You ain't gotta go to what is this place in, in Manhattan, Barcade, to experience this anymore. You can play this at the luxury of your home, and we you know we in a pandemic, so. You can play online with your boys. You can try, you know, crack it up, drink some, you know. If you're older, an old adult, a responsible adult, you know, you and your homeboys, you be drinking some beer, just chilling out like old times, or rather, like if you was to go to Barcade and play this. If people don't know Barcade, Barcade is a bar and arcade lounge in New York City. So, this is good. These two things already is a good price value, right? Because you, you you're getting a decent. You get two good titles, and you get to play them all, um, online. That's dope. Instead of you having to go through all of that mess that people do online. Then you get the regular Turtles. Let's see how much the regular Turtles is price value, right? Let's see. Let's see the cost. So, let's just say the game cost about, let's just throw it out there, 11 bucks. So, you already we already price value and everything at, let's, let's say, 200 200 I'm gonna be even more nice. A hundred to three hundred dollars, right? For both arcade games. So you, you potentially, if you needed the arcade games, you're spending two hundred to six hundred dollars for both the arcade games. If you wanted the real deal arcade cabinets, right? And this is just me being nice and generous and being super cheap, right? Because those things cost more than that. Then you got the NES version. The NES version is about, let's just say ballpark, 20, uh, let's just be cheap again. Five bucks, right? If you snag the physical copy of five bucks, right? Physical copy, let's say the digital copy is two bucks, physical five, right? I'm being nice here. Nice here, people. So now we're going to look at what other game we have. We got, we got TMNT 2, right? Here's the price value right here, right? This is just ballpark, people. So don't kill me. Don't be like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about, Wes. I'll get the game for a dollar here. It's $10. So let's say physical 10. 10. And that's... I'm being generous because a lot of people trying to get this game in a physical copy 
is rough because they don't really they're not really circulating like that and they're not manufacturing them games like that so whoever got it they're probably some some turtles fan who got it like in this plastic seal or just got a freaking mint mint condition so i'm being nice i'm putting i'm putting the price value down by at least 90 percent so let's say ten dollars for turtles nes right let's say five physical i mean five digital ten physical right turtles three let's see the price value for that quick so let's just say 20 bucks for this crap right 10 physical right 10 boom so that's that's 10 to 20 bucks we're gonna go to the next game tournament fighters boom we're gonna see we're gonna we checking these prices out man damn hold on i'm looking at the price join us 200 bucks god damn let's 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 lower it down people let's lower it down let's lower it down jam anyway yo we already we already going over the price for how much all of this stuff costs so i'm not gonna go any further about this right in my opinion right in my opinion it says that you know they want 40 uh 40 duck 40 ducks for <laughs> they want 40 bucks for you to get the physical or digital copy of this game to get all 13 games now it's a pain in the ass to try to find all of these game and games in different places that's already number one number two when you find them it's tough i mean they're gonna cost they're not gonna cost like a dollar two dollars or something like that you gotta go to like a flea market you gotta go here you gotta go you gotta do a lot of searching for all of these games then on top of that to play them online is a hassle as well you gotta set certain things up so you at least get in the games all in one place you get in the digital or physical copy whichever one you want then uh you're able to play with your friends from home and you don't have, like i said you don't have to go every you don't have to go on different places just to look for these games so 40 bucks is a good deal for these amount of games i'm not even gonna hold you guys i'm not even gonna hold you now let's get to the artwork and the limited edition to it let's go to it so i could break down and give you guys a little bit of insight on my opinion on the whole thing right so you get all of this stuff right you gotta understand let's just say for example mind you if you're a fan of something and you want some artwork done let's just say you take out you want one of these things done let's just say you wanted the poster in the background done you hit somebody a, a artist and you want them to make you a poster just like this in the background you know the, that the book is on that that comic book is on let's just say a regular artist that you don't know you want them to make that poster for you how much you think that poster is going to cost that joint is not going to cost you no 20 bucks that poster is not going to cost you no 30 bucks that poster is not going to cost you 40 bucks maybe if it's your friend but if you want a super discount from an artist they'll probably give it to you for 50 bucks or maybe free if you know the artist but let me tell you something making a poster like that in the background i mean background making a poster like that from an artist from scratch that's a lot of work bro that's you don't understand that's a lot of freaking work that takes hours of work to do even if they took images from offline and copy you know put it on there but me looking at this poster it looks like it's it's like new work you know original work from an artist who put that together so that right there that poster alone if you ask an artist to do it is a hundred dollars off top off top then now more artwork you get these figurines you go to a store like toys r us if they even still exist toys r us or just online you want to buy figurines these look kind of different because uh, in comparison to other turtles figurines I've seen, right? That already is more artwork. That's more time. You ask somebody to do this for you, an artist, go to Fiverr, go anywhere. That's a lot of money for each turtle. For each turtle, it's like 50 bucks, 100 bucks. Then you go to the pins. 
So let's just say you go to anime convention, right? Anime convention. They sell pins for these kind of, you know, uh, video game characters. They sell pins. You might get them for like five if you're cool with them or if they really, they really just trying to sell their artwork and get customers. And you, pins cost anywhere between five to like 25 bucks, depending on the size, the, the notor uh, notoriety of the character, stuff like that. So... The, that those pins alone. Let me see the pins. How many? What do you get in the pins? You get the Technodrome, Turtle Blimp, Party Wagon, Shredder, and King. So Crane. So that's one, two, three, four, five. You get five pins. Let's just say five bucks each pin. That's twenty-five bucks already. We already we already reached the. Let's just say a hundred dollars for the poster. Let's just be nice again. Let's be nice again. Twenty dollars for each turtle. So that's forty bucks. I'm doing that math wrong. 80 bucks. 180 bucks. Then you got the you got the pins. That's another 20 each, five dollars each pin. So that's what is it? Five pins? 25 bucks. You already about to hit 200 bucks for this. Then you got a full color art book with 180 pages featuring a chapter dedicated to each of the 13 games in compilation. So this is some original work, people. They making comic books. I don't know how many pages, so let's let's break that down. So you basically get about 13, 14 pages per game in a comic book. Like just you know, going over each game in a comic book form. Original work here, people. Let's just and it's a thick comic book. Comic books ranges from at least 180 page comic books. Those things that ranges from anywhere between 20 something to like a hundred or so bucks, depending on where you get them. So as already, you already spending like 300 bucks, 200 bucks. If you wanted to get this stuff separately done from an artist, come on people. This is, if, if you are a Turtles fan, this is a good price value. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not even going to hold y'all up. I'm, I'm breaking it down for y'all guys. I'm breaking it down. The only reason why I may not buy it is because I don't really collect stuff. Like, I'm not a collector. I'm a fan of stuff, but I'm not a collector. But if you are a Turtles fan, this is a good price value for you. People automatically, they think that they're going to get the game for $50 and then, oh, a collector's edition? Oh, don't worry about it, guys. We'll give you all of this stuff for an extra 20 to 30 bucks. No, man, no. He's Give this artist the money he deserves. Yo, my man Kevin, if you hear me, Kevin, you deserve. Actually, you giving these people a discount. You giving people a discount for all you giving them, all the work that you put in. I get it. People are like, but Wes, he's doing just one. He's just doing these things one time and then they just mass produce them. Don't matter. My man put in work. He put in work to... To do a lot of this stuff, man. Don't give me that, man. But anyway. What you guys think in the comment section? Am I bugging? Or am I not bugging? I don't think I'm bugging. I'm looking at this from the artist's perspective. And then on top of that, right? He's not getting all the money from this stuff. He's probably getting a portion, a percentage. From the artwork he's put in. So you gotta take that into consideration. Get a man his money. Get a man his money, yo. Stop being cheap. If you're a fan, put money down. I'm sure fans put money, more money down in like a limited edition or like a freaking Leonardo or Donatello headband that's like 50 bucks that they probably washed once and destroyed. Or they dog ate or some crap like that. Or disintegrated while they was freaking playing a game or something. Or, or freaking, come on man. Get a man his money. Give the man his goddamn money, people. Anyway, this is your boy Wes. I'm out of here. Peace.